Now, your local weather authority with Chief Meteorologist Jesse Walker. Welcome back, everybody. It's hard to believe it's May 11th with weather like this. People wearing jackets, working outside. I tell you, we do see changes, big changes coming as we head into later this week. It is going to start to feel more spring-like across the valley. Today, not so much, though. 20 degrees below normal for our daytime high. We ought to be around 73. Instead, we hit 53, and it was chilly this morning, 38 degrees. That was just 2 degrees shy of tying the record low set back in 1990, so this cool May pass pattern continues at least for the time being. No real precipitation today. We've seen some sprinkles, but that's really been about it so far. Here's what we've got with our sunrise sunset for tomorrow. We are now up to 14 hours and 16 minutes of daylight tomorrow. And the river stage in Terre Haute is kind of, kind of low, which is good because we've got rain on the way. It could be quite a bit of rain later this week into the upcoming weekend. At the airport in Terre Haute, we're at 54. Winds are northwest 15, so we still got a bit of a breeze today, although not as windy as yesterday. And the barometer has gone up. It's at 30. 30.22. Temperatures across the area, again, very chilly for this time of the year. We're in the 50s. We ought to be in the 70s this time of the year, but we'll get there eventually. Off to the west on the water vapor satellite. A lot of moisture out there, and eventually that's going to be moving our way. Tonight we have a little bit of cloud cover in the area, but no real precipitation, maybe a few sprinkles. That's about the only thing going on in the immediate area right now. And some of those clouds are starting to break up a little bit. We'll have some peaks of some sunshine for a while here this evening, and maybe some partly cloudy skies overnight, but the clouds will tend to thicken again by tomorrow morning. You can see that here. Some breaks for a while tonight. Then the clouds will thicken again tomorrow. But we should be dry tomorrow and temperatures will be better. Still below normal, but better. Then on Wednesday, can't rule out a couple of light showers as warmer air tries to move in. But as you can see, it looks pretty minor. If we see much out of that, it would be very minor amounts of rainfall. And as far as the next best chance of rain, that comes later this week. A front is going to stall out near the area. So as we get into later Thursday and Friday, right into Saturday and Sunday, and probably even into Monday, we have a chance of off and on showers and storms scattered in nature. It is going to be warmer, but definitely some wet weather moving in late this week into um, early next week. I wanted to show you this because we're, we're, we get tired of the cold weather. The blue indicates the cold. You get into the greens and the yellows and the oranges. That's a warmer weather pattern. Watch what happens. We're going to take you out now for the next week to 10 days. The cold air retreats to the north, and that is a major change in the pattern as we start to see much warmer air moving in. See the clock at the top there? That gets us into the May 21. So we got a couple more days before we start to see warmer weather, and it's going to be hanging around. Here is our longer term 8 to 14 day outlook, and across this part of the country, good news finally. We finally start to see some above normal temperatures. That actually would be getting us up close to Memorial Day weekend, so we finally get some warmer weather. So here's your forecast. Tonight won't be warm tonight. We're going to drop down to 37 degrees. Chilly out there, a bit of a northwest breeze. Then tomorrow, as we head through the day, a little better, but still below normal. 62. We'll have a lot of clouds. Can't rule out a little sun, but I think a lot of cloud cover, and we should be dry tomorrow. And then after that, I think most of Wednesday looks pretty dry. Can't rule out a couple light showers, but I think we're mostly dry with a high of 60 on Wednesday. Then the big flip in the pattern, back to a spring-like pattern for Thursday, Friday, into the weekend. Highs in the 70s, lows only in the 60s. How about that? But scattered showers and thunderstorms. Could be some heavier rain mixed in there. It doesn't look like a major outbreak of severe weather, but we may see a couple stronger storms in there late this week into the weekend. So big changes are on the way. Just going to wait a couple more days before some spring weather moves in. That's a wrap on the forecast. Now we'll head back to Green.